Hello, welcome back. Let's play Etrian Odyssey 3. HD, with me, Boltish McGammer. Enough mulling about. Enough farming for items. Enough grinding. It is time to try and go and find the Stratum boss. I have the plan. I have the equipment. My limits are set. I purchased items. I have enough medicine. I just need to get there. I just need to get there. And this is how we're going to get there. Every time. Fire it is. Alright, that's... That's something. We're doing it. Just hit it. Like, that should be enough to carry for yeah? Yeah. Okay. Sure, I'm glad that we're just getting more gold carbuncles. We need that to get our first katana, right? Uh, memories of not having a katana. Such silly memories. I still don't have drops from the gargoyle that's in this hall, and I don't think I have a drop from this bird thing still. No, I have that. Hmm. I'm thinking of a prevent order. Okay. Uh, is the prevent order still there? Yep. Okay. I think one more five ring sword will just take care of it. But you know, just in case. Yeah, good. Ooh. Right, I had to kill the thing with fire or something, right? And and oh no. Uh Yeah, I think that's an escape. Yeah, it hurts a limit gauge, but it's fine. That was, that was not a good draw. We don't like getting blindsided by those owls. Now we can fight you guys. Now that I got a team that's actually good at fighting, I'm great at fighting. Yeah, just come at me. We will destroy! Ah. Ah. Never mind. We got destroyed. <laughs> ah, darn. That happens. Hubris, right? Okay, we're not dead anymore as much. <laughs> Ah, uh, shoot. Oh, that feels bad. Alright, let's get a line heal out. Almost got it. Boy, well, we died a little bit. Oh, hi there. Uh, let's not right now. I'm on a mission. Oh, hi there. Not right now. I'm on a mission. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Just a quick run through a hallway to avoid two FOEs. I imagine if you fought one of them, you would have had to have fought both of them. And these were the things I needed to kill before. Let's see, it is AM. I think that's Morningstar? I think that's Morningstar. Blast everybody like that. They can afford to cast their spells. Ow! <laughs> it's still morning. Oh uh, yeah, I absolutely need a party heal. Maybe I should ether that. Maybe I should dark either of that. No, let's do this. 
Let's do this. We have the Hellfire up. Let's just use uh, another Aetheric Charge. I like doing this combination. Darn, that's so much damage. I do a lot of damage, but they also do a lot of damage. It sure is trading with them. It sure is something. Uh, line heal on the back. Line heal on to Jade. I probably should just do a party heal. That probably would have been cheaper. I wasn't thinking. A mine. Oh, it's mine now. I'm going to guess that... Alright, yeah, let's map out this room. I don't have either of your other drops. A perfect opportunity. A perfect opportunity. Get stuff. We're gonna die if I don't do the protect order. I want to do the attack order really badly, but I'm not going to. Oh no. I should have got a prevent order out. Well then. Well, if I use Aegis... I can't use Aegis Defense. They're all asleep. Uh, what do I got that can fix this situation? Well, I have AB. If I use that on Zare... Uh, we'll be spending TP this turn. Maybe that is a Morning Star, then. I just need to blast the one out. That's really just what I need to do. You're low on TP, though. Uh, let's use the Aegis Defense now that we're on this turn. I don't think it'll help us too much, but, you know, I have to try. I could get Magic Face back in the action. What buffs do I got on? More damage. Alright, looks like we're back awake. That means we can use all the skills again. Uh, maybe a prevent order as well, just to be sure. Nope, I just said, uh, no. Ah, well. I live with my choices. This is what Nectar's, or Ambry does it for. Ooh, some robes. Good, I got the other drop. Uh, alright, I have a couple of Amritas left. Use one on Zare. One on Fungus. I probably should have used one on Jade. I thought I had enough medicine. But then, things happened. It's still morning. So we still use that skill. We need healing. And we need things to be cheap. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, that, that sure does hurt. We're getting it. Slowly but surely, we're getting it. Now there's fewer enemies, maybe now Five Ring will do better. I absolutely just need to get that girl out of there. I'm gonna protect on the back. Oh, minimum hits. Uh, I thought I was ready for this. I was going to go and deal with the boss, but no, I just, I just kind of died. That happens, I guess. Factor one. Can't use any more front mortars because I'm out of TP. I sure did squander all my stuff. Time to bust out the Nectar 2s. Jade just barely hangs in. Maybe I can get some kind of shortcut that will make this even better. You know what? That's my goal. That's my goal. I thought I would be going to fight the boss. No, it turns out I, uh... No. Turns out just no. 
Uh, how about just no? Sure, I'm glad the enemies are accommodating to me. Another nice little hallway. You know what? This looks like it leads to a shortcut. Let's unlock this. I'd rather not. I'm not in the mood for it anymore. What we got here? Okay, that, that one line that I accidentally put down sure did work out. Hey, look, statues. I don't trust them. They're neat looking. I don't trust them in the least. Too many. Is there more optional paths if I go down to the other side? As you proceed through the shrine, you notice the door before you is slightly ajar. Listening carefully, you can hear footsteps and voices from within the room. The odds are good that the Abyssal King and Olympia wait ahead. Use caution when going forth. Well, thank you, game, for letting me know. This is where death happens. Alright, so now that I got that shortcut... Now that I got that shortcut, um... How do I get to the shortcut? So... I use that to go there, then walk down there, but if I go that way, then it... Okay, it doesn't lock. It doesn't lock. Okay, so I just stop using the stairs, and I just walk down the hallway. Or I use the two shortcuts I unlocked previously. That's fine. I can make do with that. I can make do with that. Okay. All right. I need to buy more Emeritas. I need to buy a new Warp Wire. I keep calling it a Warp Wire. It's Azurine Thread. I need to get it together. Nectar 2s are just better than Nectar 1s now. Just buy. Okay. And we stay until the evening. What an embarrassment. All right, we got enough money to pay for what we got. Ooh, new things. Hold on, I thought I, had done, I thought I was done farming. I guess not. Okay, the Uchi Katana is not as good as my Kamane Kaminari Otoshi. It's not as good as that. Okay, and that sure is. I need more witch robes to make a spear. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but okay. Ooh, stops binding on the head, and it's more defense. You know what? That might be really good. What about these gauntlets? Bash resistance. Well, lower defense overall. Well, I don't think we're taking a lot of bash. But I do think that these tunics are going to be better for a lot of the people that I have. This is worth spending all my money on. Wait, is it worse than the... It's worse than the Fuskump. Yeah, you not having your head bound is excellent, because that way you can keep on casting spells. We haven't been having a lot of problems with binds, but you never know. Ask all the old. No, keep the old sleep guard. You never know. Okay. Make another save. Head back out. I thought I was done farming for equipment. I lied. Sorry about that. My intention is to go deeper, but my actions speak against my intentions. We must go deeper. Let's walk down these halls. That was, we have done so many times. Okay, so I need to go... This way. I still don't have your normal drop! Electric. Not electric. Oh well. Electric it is.
I'm more worried about the girl summoning more guys. Yeah, maybe I need to do something that's like not. Yeah, maybe I need to do something that's not uh, your piercing in order to be able to get that. Oh, that was a lot of hits. That was a good roll. Check my map. Which one do I need to go down? That one. Okay. Good shortcut. Now we're where we were before. Let's make a quick save, just to be safe. I thought I heard their voices, but it doesn't look like there's anything here. Maybe deeper. As you wend your way through the hall, you discover a faint glow emanating from a strange device. Standing before the device are two figures you know well, the Abyssal King and Olympia. Upon noticing your presence, they turn to face you. The Abyssal King speaks slowly. I believe I have already related the crisis facing both of you to the deep city and all mankind. If they will not act, I will slay the evil myself. Amarod is my native land, after all. A bright light engulfs the area, and when it fades, the Abyssal King is nowhere to be seen. It's clear that he must have used the teleportation device to make his escape to another area. As you gaze at the teleportation device in astonishment, you are overcome by a feeling of menace. You spin swiftly to see Olympia, her bare blade ready to strike. Gears, you threaten the Abyssal King's plan. He harbors no enmity towards humans, but I am different. All threats must be eliminated. A dreadful blade extends from her inhuman form as she slowly approaches, eyes locking on you. As you cautiously watch Olympia's movement, a familiar voice echoes from behind. I apologize for the wait, Guild Gears. Leave this one to me. You aren't sure how long Gajura has stood behind you, but as Katana is drawn, he glances at you. You go on the head. We can't allow the Abyssal King to reach the princess. And I have a score to settle with this thing. It took the lives of many centuries in the second stratum. You nod your assistant. You nod your assent to his claim, and Olympia steps forth. Another corpse of the pile. Body stacked high in a watery grave. The girl's voice is even and calm as she begins playing an eerie, shrill melody. Come to me, beast clad in the lightning. In response to Olympia's summons, a dreadful thunderous beast appears before you. You can see no other way forward but to fell the creature. Draw your weapons and slay the enemy standing before you. Kirin has appeared. It looks so different in every game that I encounter it in. All right, let's rev up. I'm going to need to make a clone. Hmm. It's Kirin, so it should be fire or lightning, right? Maybe I should just do that this turn. Charge it up. Yeah, protect on the front. Get a wolf howl. Okay, that was a different type of damage. Okay, that was fire. It just did fire. Kieran does fire? Okay, fine. Whatever. Alright, let's make the clone. More damage is necessary. And then being able to continue to do their damage is how I'm going to do this. Ow. Good hit. Charge it up. Do it again. Okay, so... It looks like it did fire damage on the first turn. Right? Maybe it's going to do lightning damage other times. Charge it up. I should probably get a protect on the back. How much we got left on this uh, howl? Three turns, okay. We can do that. I could charge to drop a meteor and then... You know what, we got enough TP, let's try that. We'll do it like this. And just in case it does have single attacks, let's uh, provoke it. Oh, that was a lot of physical damage with a leg bind. 
Okay, we're back at full. Let's go all out. Let's go all out. Maybe an attack order on the back, too. That'll help with the meteors. Maybe I'll protect the front? No, no. You attack. Nope, just more physical damage. I sure I'm doing good numbers now! That feels real good! Ah, oh, yeah, okay. Uh, turn five. Let's try Firewall. Charge it up. We got a little bit of binds, but we're okay. The Protect Order fell off the front. We gotta get that back up, otherwise people are gonna die. Uh, got a new Wolf Hell out. Refresh that. Uh, main voltage's TP is low. Let's uh, Amri to that. Yeah! Alright, all revved up. Use Aegis Defense to block whatever he's gonna do. Five ring it. If, he's, if I'm using Aegis Defense, the only thing it might do is, uh, would be the Lightning, maybe. Front Mortar again. The attack fell off. Get that back up. We need to do top tier damage. Top! I mean, I could have done Berserker Val if I really wanted to do top damage, but, like, you know, it's fine. I did Wolf Howl last turn. Let's Aether this turn. Uh, how are we looking? How are we looking? We're looking all right. We're looking all right. I can stab. The lightning blocked. That was a bad five ring, but we're okay. Another that. Another one of that. Another one of that. Uh, the protect fell off of the back. We'll do another protect. Only Zara is bound. Let's use an etheric charge. No, hold on. We need to use Hellfire with the etheric charge. That's what I'm going to do this turn. I'll make it another free. I won't use more meteors next turn. It'll be fine. I did like the amount of damage I did with it. Uh, does anything else need doing? No. Attack. Oh, it countered me. Oh, it really countered me with lots of binds. Okay. Five ring it. Turn eight, we'll guard. Another front mortar. I do like seeing those numbers. Protect order on the front's about to go down, but that's okay. Maybe I need to get an unbind off. Yeah, you can't do anything. You're completely bound, aren't you? Yeah, you're completely bound. <laughs> oh, that's a problem. I guess this is a turn to use an item. Uh, let's throw an Emrita on Fungus. No, no. Yeah, I can't use anything else, so we use an Emrita on Fungus. And you're bound on the arms, which blocks you from doing... Oh, you're also just completely unbound. Well... Uh, block. Blocked all that lightning. Ah, hop lights! Ah, I do love having a good defensive character. Uh, turn nine, another vault wall. Another charge. The protect order on the front fell off. Gotta get back th that back up. Uh, now that you're free of binds, how much is on that uh, wolf howl? All right, all right, we'll do this. Another charge. And you take a stab at it. And you counter with that. That's fine. Okay, turn 10. Five ring sword. Uh, that's firewall. This is a front mortar. The attack is not on the front or the back. We're going to put an attack on the front. Call down more meteors. And you just hit the thing. Here we go. Big damage. Come on. Lock the fire. Yeah! Blue scale! You've discovered a new monster and got the scale. With rever reserves of strength you didn't know you had, you slay the mighty lightning beast. Behind you, you can hear pants and hate heaves from the two evenly matched combatants. You turn to find Kutura and Olympia facing each other, both covered in wounds. I hadn't expected this strength from a human. And you have... And you have slain my lightning beast as well. The girl who was battling Kajura seems to have realized her weakened position. 
You leave me no choice, she says quietly, as a bright flash blinds you. When your eyes finally adjust, Olympia has vanished. It seems she realized the tables had turned. They do say discretion is the better part of valor. Kujara slowly approaches you as you scan the area, finding nothing. His movements are weak and halting from the fierce battle. He seems to be in great pain. It must be stopped. But first, the Senatus needs to know what the device that the device was activated. Kujara issues you a key with his order to report back. And take this. That woman dropped it, which means it may be useful in some way. Got the moon key! Now we can finally go through the croissant doors! I'll be along once I've rested a little. Don't worry about me, just go. Your options are to do as Kajura says and report to the Sanitas, or check the teleportation device. It's right here. Just to be sure. Oh, oh, we're at full health. Well then. So it, it says descend, but it looks like a hole in the ground. I'm gonna put stairs on it. <laughs> Looks like I'm not fighting random encounters in here, maybe? That would be nice. Yeah, let's just map this area out. Get it all covered up. Nice and neat. Make sure there isn't some kind of shortcut. Okay. Uh, Kajura is located here. I can mark that on my map. It sure did delay there. Probably wasn't expecting me to type. Don't know why I wouldn't. I like putting those little notes there. Any shortcuts? No, I guess like those shortcuts I did find were pretty much the best you could have done. Oh, that looks really nice on the map. Fills that area real nice. Don't worry about me. You need to get yourself to the Senators. I want to check the device. There might be a pole beyond there. Fifth Stratum. Porcelain Forest. It just looks nice. Eternal Stillness. Look at this. Look at this when it's not lagging horribly. All right, there's our ladder back up. It's a teleportation device, not a ladder, but that's fine. I'm putting it there anyway. Now here, I very, very clearly could die. But I want to make it to that pole. There's a wall here. Am I locked in? I want to get to that pole. How dare you keep me? Okay, there's a way through. Good. Oh, good, a raging boar. It's been some time since we fought some of these. I think these, yeah, these were in an earlier game. All right, uh, you don't have enough TP to do your special nonsense. You do, though. Maybe I just call meteors on it. Ow. Oh good, some beast skin. Uh, it's been some time since I've seen that drop. Alright. Return to Armor Road. But now we have new dialogue from everybody, right? Hey boss, listen to this! I told you I saw Princess Gutrin the other day, right? Well, later I heard that some bad guys went into the royal forest looking for her. I hear they asked you guys to go protect her, since you're so good. Don't let her down, okay? I won't. Ah, it's you. The Abacus idea was a wash. Or, let's not mince words, a fiasco. Now I'm left with a hundred production models. What to do with them? This won't look good on the books. The real shame is that it wasn't a bad idea. I thought for sure the rollers... Hmm. Hear me out. If these are worn on your feet, your speed in the labyrinth would be... No? No. No. Absolutely not. That's what sounds like tripping. Anyway, let's sell our new stuff. Book of Law! And some padded armor. What's this book look like? 
Lots of TP, but not a lot of tech. That is somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 more TP, and he isn't doing a lot of damage much anymore. That is an upgrade. That is an upgrade. It's a lot of money. I'm buying the book. Okay, how about armor? How's this padded armor? It's good for... three members of my party. It's not as good for my primary character, my primary guardian, but it's good for my... my healer and my... Uh... Later. Later! Ah, you guys! Hey, did you know this? There's this thing called an abacus used for back massages. You roll it on your back and... Ah, that's nice. It really relaxes my muscles from a hard day of work. The girl at Napier's Ford sold it to me. Isn't it so cool? She said this would be a big seller, so if you want one, you'd better get it quick. Uh, uh yeah. I'm glad you like it. But that's not the primary purpose of an abacus. Hey, you got a minute? See, I was paired up with this monk the other day. I like a man in glasses. He was a real icon of... I, I, a unique guy. I think guys who do things their own way are great. Anyway, he tells me that monsters called Petaloids appeared on the 17th floor in the day, so we should go at night. I was like, oh my gosh, is he making a pass at me? But we, so we leave for the labyrinth, okay? And guess what happens? No sign of those pedal things, but this freaky Volty Fox thing shows up. So I decide no it all jerks who act all superior are useless. Give me a wild, passionate guy. I'm glad that you're liking the way that you're doing things, Desert Hay. I hope that you find the person for you one day. Astrologist Aura. Nerone finally coaxed me into going to a porcelain forest. Map seems so useless there. And, in truth, it's too bright there. I wish I could hide my eyes for even a second. I mean, why don't you just wear some glasses? Chase, I'm drowning in work here. Huh? Oh, it's you folks. A young group's been half wiped out in the second strata. I was just doing the after action. It doesn't matter to me where or how you explorers die. You knew the rest when you signed up. Just... Try not to die when you're under my care. My paperwork's a real bitch. Ah, uh, come on! Paperwork isn't all bad. No, it's pretty bad. Oh, bureaucracy. Alright, and the port is going to crash me, isn't it? Are you kidding me? Every time I do something with the port. Remember when I ordered the sail for your ship as thanks for discovering the Tower of Victory. Uh, oh right, this. It probably had to load this. Well, it finally came in. Your ship should be pretty comfortable now. Got the Latin sail. Equip a Latin sail to increase the ship movement by two spaces. It's the foremast, but more! Huh? I can see that you're tired. No need to put on a brave face. I know how adventuring can be. At times like this, look to the sea. As unchanging water seize one's heart and restore one's resolve. Ah. I feel like if I talk to you that I'm gonna miss dialogue. Hold on. This place might hate me right now. It should, because, like, you know, I just... I had a bad dealing with this leadership. Your armor are loyalist to the end, I see. Olympia told me you turned down the Abyssal King's request. Honestly, I'm disappointed you can't see the wisdom of what he's asking you. That's alright. We made our decision. Ah, it's Gears! I'm glad to see you're still at it. By the way, what do you all think of the deep city? Do you like it here? Oh, it's pretty neat. I mean, it doesn't have as much amenities as Armor Road, but like, you know, it's been an isolationist society, but, you know, it's pretty. Ah, I guess you see I die there. I finally started to appreciate this city. At first, I was so bored, I thought about running away. But now I don't think it's so bad. Should I settle down here? If I do, maybe I could marry a rich man of the deep city. Oh, no, it's nothing. I'm just thinking out loud. Is that all you could... You and your sister both can only think about money, huh? The Vessel King and Olympia are both away on an important mission. You shouldn't be wasting time here. Go where you're needed. Okay, I got dialogue. Now then. 
A Bosland forest is a royal sanctuary, sacred ground that only those of royal blood could enter. Your guild is the first exception. Take care not to desecrate the forest during your travels. What about the other guild people that talked about... Oh, it's fine. We got the teleporter. I knew the moment I saw your faces. The device was connected after all, wasn't it? The Abyssal King and his lackey have used it. The princess rests in that forest. We must act. And, oh, but of course. You'll lend a hand, I trust. If the Abyssal King were to control the princess, I haven't lived a hundred years to allow that. Much rests on you. I need your help to protect our dear sweet princess. A new mission is available. Ah, yes. There's still the matter of your reward. Hurry, take it. There isn't much time. That's a bunch of money. And that's a load of experience. Hmm. I know there's a certain point in the game where you have to not accept a quest. So I'm going to save the game and double check before I progress any further. This has been me playing Adrian Odyssey 3. And I hope that I've been filling all of your lives with glee. Later, explorers!